Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, episode 21 of Tales of Ascuria. Uh We've been away for a little bit, a uh, combination of uh, some of us being out of the country, some of us being ill and just taking a little bit of a break. Uh, but we are back and ready to play some more Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, but just before we get down to it, as always, just to say that we are presented by and in association with Horsham Gamers. We are a local group. We're interested in the full range of gaming through from tabletop and RPG stuff like this through to esports, war gaming, competitive gaming, anything you can think of. Basically, if you're interested in gaming and nerd culture, we're interested in it too. And if you are local to the Horsham or surrounding area, pretty much anywhere in West Sussex at this point, pretty much, um, we would love to meet you too. So, um, if you would like to meet some of us, you can see there's various different social links down in uh, down at the bottom of the screen for you. Uh, but basically, if you just search for Horsham Gamers on uh, Discord or Twitter or Facebook, you'll find us, and uh, we'd love to meet some of you and get you involved. So, without further ado, let's uh, hop into episode 21 of Tales of Ascuria. So, um, we... Um, fade back in on the interior of the the Sultan Sarke, the very uh, familiar uh, tavern. Um, some of you are in the midst of playing a um, a card game. You can see the majority of um, the people that we have been kind of we've got used to seeing around the town uh, are in the tavern in some respect. Um, you can see that off in a corner. Um, Caster is in the middle of um, talking to a couple of people, the Sultan Sarke is still kind of acting as a, a, a central kind of point for political stuff while they're rebuilding the, the Salt Lord's Rest. Um, you can see um, that the uh, the barman, Koshka, um, is in the middle of hurriedly kind of moving some drinks around and uh, preparing some other various different little bits and a little bit of food for some um, some people who are holding a meeting at another one of the tables. Um, you can see Hawk is in the midst of very intently staring at his cards. Um, and you can see, um, all the rest of you are, are gathered there as well. It's been a couple of days since, um, everything went down. Um, things have calmed down considerably in those couple of days. Um, and Robert Black has been imprisoned, uh, permanently for the crimes that he committed. So, you guys have uh, some time in town to get anything sorted and figure out what your next moves are. What would you guys like to do? Finish the game of cards, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Finish the game of cards, all right. Is, can I can I ask already, Just is, is the weapon I got last game already, does, is the reservoir full? Yes, it will be when you get it. Yeah, cool beans. Okay. Um, Should we talk about what we are going to do next, or what are the plans, or what should we do? Yep, we should probably talk about that. Where are we under? Um, is there still people chasing us? I don't think so. No, so we, we... not that we know of. The ones we do know of were killed. <laughs> <laughs> Hawk just, just kind of like still staring at his cards intently, like doesn't move his eyes at all, but it's just kind of like I think it is probably safe to assume that uh the people who are out for blood have got their blood. But mm -hmm. uh you never know. Things get a bit trickier around here. People hold grudges for a long time. It might not be safe to stay in the uh, house Varin for much longer, to be honest. Should we try to go somewhere else? I mean, we don't have well, other motivation than escaping the island, I guess. But if we are not chased, we have the freedom, all the freedom we want, so... Oh, no, no. I wouldn't mind keep exploring, see yeah, what's same. out there. Cal, can you um, put it on the world map? World map, sure. Thank you. Okay. I I think we've done all we can to help this this place anyway. Yeah. Um, we do need to find out what we're going to do with our robotic friend, though. We do. Yeah. 
Should, should we sort out the robot thing before? Well, I was thinking, but I did say that I would I would speak to Thorvald, having having spoken to everyone here, that it might be an idea to keep it here in the village and protect the Salt Lord as a bodyguard of sorts. Hmm. Well, it could, but we don't really know what it does. We what? Sorry? We don't really know what it does. No, but Thorvald has a good idea, and I think he's better attuned to it than we are. Mm. Also, it's going to be very noticeable walking around with a ginormous robot next to us. It's going to draw a lot of it attention, some good, some bad. How big actually is it? Very. <laughs> yeah. Like, ridiculously big. <laughs> Imagine yeah, that think... when you walk, it's literally next to you going boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it's... it's really going to be a problem. Yeah. How it's, the fuck it's did a... we carry this into town? Like, what? <laughs> Combination of bag of holding and two very, very strong women. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's about kind of 10 feet tall ish. Okay. Um, and cool. yeah, it is heavy. Yeah. I guess it kind of swings around about us because it wouldn't be good for a stealth approach, but at the same time, it's hella strong, clearly. So we go for carrying stuff or breaking through walls or whatever. We can do that with other means, though. Yeah, and a true. lot less, you know, we, we don't... The problem is, is there's a lot it won't do for us because we don't have the coats. Now, yeah. if we stumble upon them, we can always come back later. I yeah. think for the time yeah. being, it's probably best sit, suited here to look after the town itself and we don't have to worry too much once we leave because, you know, the, the Salt Lord will still be in charge, he'll have a bit of extra protection him and the church will be able to work together better, it should it should be fine. Where did 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 I know I asked this question last time, Cal, sorry, but I've completely forgotten right. um, did you say where it came from? Or do we, do we know where it came from? Um, it's safe to assume that it was made uh, in Obsidian Lock in House Corrith, but Beyond that, you don't have any more information. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we were going to take it with us, we'd have to get it then on a boat. You do realise this, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't think it's useful for us. I don't know. Yeah. I think, I, I'm not saying that it won't be useful. I think it would be very useful, but the like difficulties of carting it around probably outweigh its usefulness. Exactly. Its its uses are situational and those situations may not happen. So yeah. Whereas it has a use here and could be quite useful all the time. So and we don't know anyway how often will it uh run out of energy. Mm. But Thorvald does and I think he could look after it for quite a long time. I think he'd be yeah, no, happy. If we leave leave it here, I mean it will be used and yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay, yeah, so we're I'm all voting that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna let full vault know that. Well, we can all go and talk to him, can't we? Well, sure. Yeah, if you want to come along. Might as well. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hawk is still kind of like staring at his cars, and he just goes like, "The question still remains of where we are going to go next." <laughs> Do you I mean, have an idea, Hawk? I have many ideas, but I don't think any of them are very good. They don't tend to be. I no, mean, you, you see the that. situation I found myself in right here. This is not the result of good decision making, is it? Can we... Hawk, you're alive. I'd say that's pretty good decision making. It's been yeah. quite touch and go on that subject for a while now. <laughs> So can we, for example, try to travel and sell our services as? Um, you would definitely be able to get um, to get a boat out of Yokai. Um, you have a a feature specifically, Alessia. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of getting getting ships passage somewhere. So if you had a destination in mind, you could get there. If you're curious about. All the robot thing. Maybe we can go to Obsidian Lock. To just... mm. How is the th how are the things right now in Cor Corith? How's Corith? Uh, Corith is not going to be a good place right now. Uh, okay. House Varen just declared war on them, so 
if we're trying to get away from soldiers trying to kill us, maybe going to the place where they're going to do all the killing is oh. not the best <laughs> idea. Oh, really? I actually didn't know that, my character. No, me either. Um... Hmm. Well, has anyone got anywhere specifically that they want to go? Mm, not Just now. No, and now I think about it, it wouldn't be a bad idea if... Uh, Kada, if we left this down to you to decide. Gold, yeah, but... Like, I'm I'm happy to kind of choose a plan of action, but no one's really suggested Yeah, but one. We're, we're, we're giving no options. Yeah. Um, so, the thing is, um, how, can we, I don't know, know by, by some way how news about the country, like what's happening around? Um, um, yeah, there's, um, when you first arrived in town, there was kind of like a notice board. And when you had arrived there, there was kind of like a little, like, document that was like, news straight from Sakani of all the stuff that's going on. So if you wanted to get kind of like updates of what's going on, you could go and check there. Sure, that that would be a good start, do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Well, do you guys want to go get some ideas and we'll go see Thorvald? Yeah. Yeah. May I come with you guys to the notice board and I'll uh, disguise myself as a cat? Of course. Um, have we done proper introdu introductions between you all guys? No. I I was there last time, but um, these guys were in Spain. No, can you? I'd like to see them. But I'm Harry, do you want to it. introduce yourself? <sighs> no, you can. Okay, what? Sorry, we were arguing. That's right. I was just uh -huh. going to say, Carrie, do you want to, or, or guys, do you want to introduce yourselves to Carrie? Like, now that we've got some time and we're kind of sitting down before we yeah, go and talk to Thorvald or whatever. Odie. So you were the cute cat that became a, a person the other day, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was the cat that you picked up. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry for all the owls. I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> but it wasn't. It was I just kind of... thought it would look cool. <laughs> it looked cool, I it. Yeah, it was kind of cool at the same time. Yeah. They weren't very helpful. <laughs> well, distraction. I wouldn't say that they weren't helpful. We were really lucky. Uh, how, how, how does Odi look like? Like, in terms of dressing? Odi, uh, I'm like six foot tall uh, with long black hair, kind of purple skin with like tribal markings. I've got a really cool green cape. Okay. Um, and I, I do, and I, I think I, I think I got um, attached on my body is my crossbow. Um, so that you know I'm always ready, even if I'm not necessarily decent at it. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just fairly. I think I'm fairly awkward. I think I'm fairly like you know wants to explore. Wants to explore, but has no idea how to do it. Well, you've come to the right team. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I think we are all of us sort of a bit of a bit lost, and we made us company to each other. Mm, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, you're growing on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, shall we? Yeah, should we go to the board? And we'll go and see Twelve World. Thorvald, sorry. Okay. Um, so, um, we'll, we'll, we'll go for the, uh, the Thorvald scene first. Um, so is this, um, Odie, Ellen, and Alessia are going to the notice board and Vixen and Kader are going to Thorvald, or is everyone going to all the places? Uh, I think we're splitting up for these tasks. Yeah, that's what yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just wanted to make yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, Vixen and Kada, you arrive at um, Thorvald's shop, um, and you can hear that there is um, a a fair amount of um, kind of bustle and 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 sound as 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 you're approaching. Uh, the inside of it seems to be um, fairly busy. 
um, you can see there are a large amount of um, uh, what seem to be um, various different um, halflings and elves and humans, all of whom are kind of like, y you know, when, when like a crowd shows up to look at something, they're all just kind of like, uh, 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 uh. yeah, yeah. There's basically an entire crowd of like fifteen or so people taking up most of the room in the shop, and all of them seem to just be staring at um, your your robotic friend Annie. Who is in the middle of moving a large kind of cog of machinery and placing it into a uh, um, something on the wall, kind of <laughs> assembling this um, this brass machinery, and uh, you can hear Thorvald kind of going, "I, I, I say, um, if 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 any of you have any actual business, could you please form an orderly queue, and if you do not, could you please vacate the premises." And like obviously no one is paying any attention to him. He's just kind of like Ugh. Okay, so as the like as we walk in and see all this kerfuffle and he's like Ugh. I'm gonna use my um one second, let me find the name of it. Dormaturgy? Probably. To um make all the lights flash. And I've got a thing which makes my voice really loud, which might be the same thing. Yeah. And I'm just shout at people. Have business or get the fuck out. Okay, there's there's this like oh, sudden wow. panic when everyone's just like, huh, huh. Uh, make an intimidation check, please, with advantage. Intimidation. Oh man, really? <laughs> sake. It's advantage, so you got seventeen. <laughs> um. So. Pretty much everyone just immediately like sees you there, and the combination of like the flashing lights and the booming voice—it's almost like thunder claps. Like, Pff, get out! And they're just like, <laughs> why? Uh, the shop pretty much like immediately empties. There's like one little like uh, halfling kid who's like still looking over at the counter, and his mum just like picks him up and walks out with him. <laughs> And you can see Thorvald kind of like looking up and he's just like, oh, thank God. Ah. <laughs> thank you very much. Very They've much. been in here all damn day. You're welcome. Uh, how can I help? How can I help? Well, we've actually come to talk to you, Thorvald, about what we discussed the, um, yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I spoke to the members of other members of the party and we have agreed that Annie would be best suited here. Um, rather than take her with us. Uh, that way you can continue to learn more about her. Um, but I was thinking, as for a role, I'm, obviously she's drumming in a few people that are a bit of a nuisance for you. Um, so giving her an actual task might not be a bad idea. And I was considering she becomes a bodyguard for the Salt Lord and you could help maintain her and talk to him directly about how best to utilise her. Yes. Yes, I think that's a that's a sensible solution. Uh, uh it certainly has the the muscle to back it up. Oh, it does that. It also um it also helps the town be it more at ease with all recent events that have been uh, transpiring and the salt lord himself, I do believe. Yes, yes, I imagine so. Uh a few birds with one stone there. People have been uh well, you know how things go in House Varin. It tends to be that the strong take power, and as wonderful and as, as fantastic a leader as I believe Castor will be, he's hardly a physically imposing fellow. This could definitely help with that side of things. Hmm. Fantastic. Do you want us to take her there, or would you like to take her there yourself? I'll, I'll take her there myself. Um... I think I'd like to say my, my my goodbyes to her when we uh, get there. Not that I'll be saying goodbye permanently, of course, but just, you know, had her in my care here my for care. a little bit. So, um, it's a very good idea. I also think it might be wise that you uh, talk to Caster uh, potentially about any plans you might have next for the church and work together on Yes, yes, of course. I've been meaning to get on with that. Thank you for the reminder. Um, oh, you're welcome. Do you have a question, Robin? Yeah, um, what, this is going to sound like a really silly question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. What is the postal system like in this world? 
Okay, so there are your standard kind of slow postal methods. There's your, like, I will send a letter, it will go on a ship, it will take, like, a couple of weeks to get where it's going and then get okay. to the recipient. Um, um, in, if, if... In, inside a country, it's pretty quick. It's like every, it's like a couple of days or so, just like wagon trains. Uh, and for the particularly fancy people, you can send magical messages. So you can write down a letter and then be like, Phoop, and it will like instantly arrive at the place. Okay. I just, I was considering asking Thorwald to get in touch with us, but if we're moving around, like, is that feasible? Um, Thorvald, if, if you ask him that question specifically, Thorvald just kind of like, hmm, give, give, give me a moment. Um, and he rummages around underneath his desk and um, he produces a little piece of paper and on it you can see um, various different runes that have been um, kind of uh, transcribed in a circle. And he says, well, um, this uh, is, well, for want of a better word, this is my address. And he points to a little version of it that's been kind of carved into the desktop on, like, um, his side. And he goes, uh, if you have messages that you need to send to me, then... Uh, and he reaches into, like, a little box and gets out a stone. You can see the same runes have been carved onto this stone. And uh, he hands it to you and says, uh, simply write down your message. And uh, if you were to... Wrap the uh, piece of paper inside the stone, or rather, wrap it around the outside of the stone, um, and throw it. It will uh, find its way to me, and I can send the stone back where it came from. Uh, you will have to uh, send the first message, because I can't just merely send this out to somewhere I don't know where it's going to go. But if you send me a message, I can reply. And we can keep and going if, back and forth. If I were to send a message and then move... It would find its oh. way back to you. It would always come back to me. Okay, cool. Yes. A, a In that carrier case. stone, then. Yes. For cool, lack um, of a better word. In that case, I will write something down before we leave town and send it to you. Um, but I'd just like to stay in touch a bit, and if you have any further problems, just contact us. Of, of course, of course. And... Uh, should for this for any reason not work, I'm sure I can find someone in the town who would have the uh, the necessary skills to get in touch with you. Right. Um, well, is there uh, anything else that I can help you with? Uh, I take it that this means you're leaving soon. That's the plan. Hmm. We feel well, like we've done everything we can here, so... Yes, you've certainly done a lot more than most travellers do here. Thank you very much for everything that you have been doing, and uh, I'll be sad to see you go, but uh, I understand. You're a big fish in a small pond here at the moment. Yes, a little bit. Yes. We've got itchy feet. Mm. Well, uh, safe travels and eight blessings on every single one of you. And to you, sir. <laughs> many thanks, many thanks. Eight blessings, Thorvald. Mm. Right then. Any? We've got one last job to do. And he kind of like wanders over to her and starts explaining. Um, and you can see like Annie like reaches down with a big metal hand and like picks him up so that they're at like eye level so he she so he can like explain. Um, and with that, um, let's move over to the the notice board of the town. Okay, so. Um, the three of you um, arrive at the, uh, the 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 kind of notice board which is posted um, somewhere in kind of the um, just just over the bridge but between three bridges and North Pools, kind of fairly central, but not like directly in the the, the upper market bit of town. Um, and you can see on this notice board there are various different kind of local things. Um, you can see a, um, a spot where a note had previously been written, um, something about a lost cat. Has anyone seen this cat? And when you look at it, it looks very much like Odie. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Odie, our plan didn't work. Damn it! Um, 
They know me too well. Uh, you can also see um, there are various different kind of uh, messages. Um, you can see one of the very hastily made posters that you made for the mudlarks when you first arrived in uh, in town for your your gig. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, and you can see um, various other just kind of like back and forth messages. Uh, there appears to be an argument between two people about where the boundaries of a fence are supposed to be, and they're doing the thing of each of them are writing a long letter and sticking it on the notice board rather than talking to each other about it. Um, and this has been going on for about five or six letters at this point. Um, but uh, in the middle of it, you can see on much finer paper with finer ink than all the rest of them, um, you can see um, a official um, a official notice from Sakani, um, and on it you can see um, it has ordered for um, all able-bodied men below the age of thirty-five to report to Sakani uh, for military service. Um, you can see um, that. Um, Underneath it, there's this this big, long, kind of extremely fancy spiel that's about three or four paragraphs um, of very, very flowery language. This essentially boils down to, um, uh, whereas House Varin has up until this point been kind of lots of different tiny little provinces, each have ruled by their own person, each very kind of like, uh, not, not particularly unified. Uh, House Varin has decided to put that aside for now in the... In the uh, uh, in service of going to war against House Korith, uh, they have proclaimed a shogun. Um, the Sword Warden of Sakani uh, has basically become the king of House Varin, and he has declared war on House Korith. Um, and you can see um, underneath that, um, there is a small piece of um, information, just kind of like underneath all the big headlines, you can see a smaller headline. Um, which is saying that there have been uh, there's been a sighting of uh, some ships from House Tithos um, that have been kind of uh, building up near House Korath as well, and it, currently it's not clear if they are going to be fighting with House Varin or against them. But mm. they seem to be spoiling for war. Does it say whereabouts they're turning up? Uh, it or said. Um, it said that they had um, been building up. Uh, there's a tiny, tiny bit of. Uh, uh, land that House Tifos have uh, near Emberden. Yeah. Uh, and they've been building up around there. Technically, it's their own land, so you can't do anything about it. Yep. But there's a large fleet building there. Um, um. And apart from that, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. Um, some. Uh, some members of House Marevo have started marching up into the Asher, um, and they are supposedly going to try and uh, rebuild the the old capital of Fort Morn. Um, but uh, what is the Asher? Uh, the Asher is a make a history check for me, actually. Damn, I thought I was going to get away with that. Mm. You are. Well, I don't know. We're not even privy <laughs> to this conversation, are we? Yeah. yeah I was thinking. Are you even oh yeah. That, sorry, I'd forgotten. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, if anyone else wants to make a history check to try and remember stuff about the Asher, because it's not especially I... well known. I, oh, yeah, I, would... I only have a one in history. I would I have two. Okay. Yeah, you know a fair amount about this because it's particularly pertaining to House Marivo history. Um, so I probably would know it then. Yeah, you'd probably know it. Um, so the Asher um, used to be the kind of when this was all a unified empire that was the capital city um, that was where the imperial palace was that was where everything big and important was um, until the uh, large mountain uh, known as Choke Mount uh, turns out to be a volcano and erupted and basically destroyed the city um, how that? that was a long, long time ago. I don't have my timeline on me right now, uh, so I'll Wait, look that up. We were born and stuff, oh yeah, yeah. This is like thousands of years ago. Oh okay. Um, 
but yeah, uh, basically everything in that area got destroyed. Fort Morn was lost. The the original Temple of Lolth was lost. Um, and it's kind of the beginning of everything starting to fall apart with the Empire was this this event. Um, and various different people have tried at, at various times to go back and think, well, let's make a colony again. Let's let's try and get things sorted. And it's always failed because it's pretty difficult and hard living up in the Asher. And people tend to kind of resort to infighting. Mm. Um, but uh, House Morevo especially have always had this thing where they think, well, you know, if we go back and we re- rebuild Fort Morn, maybe that proves that we're worthy of running the entire empire. Maybe yeah, that would be a good thing to do. Show Shut up in the, the in the palace and say hi. We're the empire now. That's totally how it works, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. so, so yeah, that's that's, sure. that's what you know about um about Fort Morn. It's it's important, and House Marevo have started marching back towards it. They've sent people to try and maybe start rebuilding it again. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Um, well, it sounds I'm better. Not... It sounds better than the than people calling all young fighters to arms. Actually, that's the thing. I I am not happy being in a place where, where there is an upcoming war. I've seen so many Shall deaths. Shall we um, move back to the pub so we can talk about what yeah, we want to do? Sure. Yeah. Then you uh, can but... Before going to the pub, uh, one question, Carl. Yes. Uh, in which state is the the Malox, uh, like letter? Uh, the what? Sorry, what? The the, the geek uh, sign is it in in good state? Yeah, it's hey. it's pretty decent state. I mean, like they're they're all kind of a bit rough. They're all a little like they they were basically made in like two hours and ho- and hand copied, but like it's all right. Okay, so I, I pick up one of them. I just took that out from the from this sign and keep it to my to myself. Okay, uh, just as you're turning away to kind of like walk back towards uh, the pub, you can see there is uh, like what seems to be almost like a a, a, a an elvish child uh, who's kind of standing by the um, by this notice board, and you can see he's holding one of the posters, and he's got a quill in the other hand, and he's just like. Could you sign this for me, please? Oh. <laughs> okay. Ha, ha. Oh yeah. I mean, I I just it, at the beginning I I just like bent the like like his, like this like looking for him from outwards, but then I just something clicks on my mind and I think okay no it's better like to come down and look at him like at the same level mm-hmm. and uh, yeah and I ask him what's your name. Uh, the, 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 the Leo. Yours. It's a cool name. It's a cool name. It sounds like a rock star. Okay. And I, I think. Yeah, rock. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't care. And I say, <laughs> uh, to Leo, with all my love, and I really appreciate your. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say that in English. All these years of faithful trust in my music. <laughs> something like that. Okay. And I give that to him. He just kind of like stares at it like th- th- he has that combination of like being extremely happy but also like I don't know what to do now. And he's just kind of like standing there looking at it. He's just like uh, d- I just like <laughs> what the face like he like reaches uh, out and like handshakes your fist, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then he just kind of like runs away as quickly as possible. Just like, thank you, bye. <laughs> I just like stand up, yeah. I turn to the to the Alessia and Anoli, and I'm just like really proud, like with my chest really in, in, uh, how do you, inflated, inflated, like, like full of pride, and I just. Do this to him and I said, you're fat? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not as famous as I want to, but you will see. <laughs> and I started working. Okay. 
so you guys arrive back at the um, uh, back at the Sultan Sake. Um, so, what would you guys like to do? Can we just say that they've caught us up on what's on the board and we've told them what's on the board? Yeah. yeah. So we sit down and we explain them. They're like, but I, I, I think all to join the army. <laughs> and no, not really. I turn back into my normal self. Mm. I have one question for you. Uh, can you choose how your transformation looks like? Like, if it's a cat, can you choose, like, the color? I was I was thinking this, although when when I saw that poster, I was like, maybe I should pick a different animal then, because <laughs> well, they know me color. so well. Um, I've not thought. I've not thought. I'm, I'm presuming. What do you, What do you think? Yeah, Callum? like you can. When when you transform, you can choose like elements of your. Um, elements of how you look so like okay you usually there's like one thing that you can't really get rid of like the kind of distinguishing mark so in your case the kind of spiral um, yeah the white spirals the, the white yeah. spirals but other than that like you could be like okay i'm gonna be a ginger cat today or like i could be a brown cat okay. whatever like you can change it i didn't know that um okay so is it like a um tonks from harry potter like i can just you know change the shade of black to ginger yeah uh i'd say it's 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 less like so with tonks obviously it's like i can change it whenever i want like i'm a black cat and then i turn into a ginger cat with yeah. you it would have to be i'm a black cat i turn back into my normal self then i turn into a ginger cat oh such a faff yeah well oh, technically guess... not really because you've just turned into yourself so you could just turn into a different color cat when we're living Yes. I just, I want, I want to stand on two legs. I'm going to be myself for now. I'm presuming there's no, like, random people. How, how, who are in the pub right now? Um, in the pub, there's, um, you can see that there seems to be kind of like a political meeting going on. There are a few different, there's, there's kind of like a debate happening off in the corner. Um, and there's the, um, the, the, uh, the barman, Koshka. But, like pretty much everyone in here was also in here when the roof was on fire and you were like hang on let me just turn into a person in the middle of this room so like okay no fine. one's gonna be like what is this they'll be like oh yeah it's that again no one's gonna be like turn her back to the pirate ship I'm i don't safe. i don't think so don't yeah, think anyone okay, in this fine. room would do that don't feed him my ideas <laughs> yeah. oh, no. uh okay cool i'll turn back into my, my normal form myself mm -hmm. okay so um we have explained everything to them like, yeah we, we basically have like um not three options but we know that house farin and house girls are into a, actually a, a, a war, maybe. Then the other house is maybe helping them. And then on the on the island at the east, yeah, my, my, my family is just trying to build a new capital. I mean, that's, that's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, talking about what we are up to do next, I am really not happy with staying in a place where it's going to be an upcoming war. And and I take my egg. Do you remember my egg? I take my egg out and I say, now I'm going to be a mom. I don't want this future for my kids. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to be caught up in a war either. But well, can I just say, um, the vain born union. I'm pretty sure is at war with someone. House Varin and House Corrith are at war with someone. The ascendancy is at war with everyone. Like, there's not really many places that we can go that aren't at war. Well, in the end, it depends on uh, where we want to be. I think, was Vixen originally from the house guard? Did she grow, grow up there? Vixen, where are you from? Are you, well, I was just going to say, are you actually going to ask her or are you just asking politely? <laughs> and I'm asking that, like, to the everyone in the room, like, and I assume that you are there and you will hear my question, like, 
it's interesting that you bring this up because I was just thinking that we should probably all kind of get to know each other a little better before we leave being that some of us are uh, we all just got thrown together as a haphazard party quite quickly so it's it'd be nice to sort of clear the air so if you have any questions like lay them all on me okay hang on hang on I'm just gonna as you just say that I'm gonna stand up and like bang my hand on the table and be like oh, I've forgotten his name uh Koshka <laughs> We need more beer. Uh, uh, yeah. Or sake. Yeah. Mead. Mead. We need more mead. Alcohol oh, coming yeah. up. <laughs> and you can see he like starts like he picks up like one bottle of something, then puts it down when you go for another thing, and he's like, "What?" Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and he just kind <laughs> of like. Water for me, please. Gotcha. What? Why? Um, I don't drink. Why? I don't know. Shadow elf. We live in peace. We don't need alcohol. I don't need alcohol either, but it's still nice drinking mead. <laughs> I mean, technically, you're you a imagine? druid. Mead is, you know, quite quite a natural thing. You yeah. Could just... mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you imagine a drunk Odie? I mean, <laughs> no, actually, don't, don't do it. <laughs> just There's like something else that that can be like. I think she's more up to like wheat. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, Alan, go on. What was your question? Anyway, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, what did you grow up? Um, I was a slave to House Relic, but uh, before then, it's a bit hate. How far back do you remember? Uh, I was a young child. Uh, I grew up as kind of a... Uh, I want to say friend, but the more I think about it, I was more like a pet. Um, not that I really minded, but yeah, I grew up with a, a close friend and then all of a sudden f- for no fault of my own, or I don't think her own either, um, everything just sort of crumbled, but maybe I'll talk about that another time. Um, mm-hmm. says the person who just said, let's get to know each other better. Well, yeah, let's get to know each other and let's spill all the details now, you know. But, Getting to know each other is like, you know, little bits at a time, little bits at a time. I mean, he only asked her, where is she from? Not really about sort of details. That's sort of yeah, you, you asked me what I remember, and I'm, you know, That's okay. Well, well you she don't want back. Like, all those, all, all your thing with that mask from House Curry? Didn't you have, like, a... See, that was... Uh... That was thanks to um, a priestess um, who's no longer with us. Uh, she picked me up, saw potential in me, and that's when I started uh, learning to follow in the beliefs of love. And I was trained as a cleric. Um, and it kind of wound up where I am now, really. Mm-hmm. So yeah. do you really mind that house? Corinth is going against House Varian? Um, it, I don't really know what to make of it all. I mean, I was a slave. Politics isn't really my strong point. But, I mean, the people that took care of you, you know, you, they, they might be in trouble. Yeah, but there's a lot about the people that took care of me that, that could be a bit sketchy. Looking back um, from childhood memories, they weren't the nicest people. Um, if there is something going on, that's all their problem. I'm not. I'm not fast. I've literally Hawk just gave me my freedom. I'm off. I want to see things. I want to do things. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I just wanted to know how, how how did you feel about your house that's under your house now? I know being yeah. Well, this is it. It was. It was never really my house. It was their house. It was not yeah. something okay, that so, I, I mean, wanted. Fair enough. We, I, we I know guess, a place that we want. Uh, I guess there's um, the only one that has actual feelings for a house of belonging in a house is you. <laughs> the rest of us, we've been slaves or people that that weren't really on the higher levels of society, so we. Don't really have feelings for houses. I yeah, so so come on, music boy. What are your thoughts? 
<laughs> about about my house. I mean, we've been together like for a, in a long way. You know that. Uh, I don't like them. I yeah, mean, I'm I'm not keen on your mom. I must say, if, if, met- I, if I could, I, I would fall. I would hit their face like from a, as an asteroid from face like right from the top of the sky. <laughs> and make the house mine. That's my. <laughs> I'll drink to that, Ellen. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Cheers. <Like> yeah. Asteroid. <laughs> I don't like how they rule and how they treat their family. I mean, we are just tools for them, like to stay in power. To be fair, th- thinking back, House Cariff obviously isn't the easiest place to go. Um, I was trained to be a cleric in House Cariff. It would be nice to see it again, but at the same time, I can understand why everyone would want to avoid it. So I'm happy to do that too. Um, but what's your take on it? I mean, you know more about the houses than any of us here, so <laughs> you know, let us know where's safe to go. Um, do I know anything? Yeah. Uh. Um, Make a just a wisdom check. Uh, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite dumb. Um, yeah, looking around, pretty much everywhere seems to be dangerous right now. You just seem to be right in the middle of the most dangerous of the dangerous places. Um, I guess. It won't be. It, it could be nice to go back where I was raised. At least there we won't be um, bothered, perseguidos, uh, chased, chased for being not being slaves anymore. So where are you from? House Ledeleshi. Ledeleshi. Yeah. Ledeleshi. Or I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Ledeleshi. Ledeleshi. Yeah. I'm a little lazy too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shutting it down. I need to rename all of the houses. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been good. Uh, we'll see you next episode. Bye. Um, uh, um, Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? what? I'm so confused. What no, just happened? It's fine. It's fine. I'm kidding. Anyway. Um, the awesome punage. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad idea, actually. If it's a safe place, it's close to ha- House Maribo. So, you know, I can plan my, how do you call it, like, undertaking? Undertaking is <laughs> running in advance. But I mean, it's, it's my dream, it's not yours. I'm sorry. It's not a too bad place. At least they have some rules and they follow them. Hmm. Three rules? Yeah, what sort of rules? Uh, it's the only actual place where slaves can be free. And they... Yeah. I don't remember very much about this. That's no, okay. Um, uh, you could make a history check with advantage. Yeah, that would be lovely. Well done. So where was this place again? Leather Lazy. It's like uh, bottom right of the map. Well, yeah. Light purple. That's a very, very like far place, if I remember correctly. Do it's I remember correctly where it is? Yeah. 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 Cal. Yeah, it's about as it's basically the opposite side of the continent from where you are yeah. now. Like it's not somewhere we could travel to. Not it's somewhere you could travel to. Place, it would but... just take a long time. You yeah, would... we need to think of like the next place to go first, and uh... oh yeah, can I say that's a really good roll? Yeah, Ooh. what do I know about my house? <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, House Led Lazy is kind of an oddball amongst all of the houses in the Underdark because uh, one, they have the weird belief that maybe you should free slaves occasionally. Uh, so if you were there and you are enslaved to someone there 
after a certain number of years, which is like agreed in a contract, they have to give you your freedom. So people who um, are enslaved uh, tend to, if they're going to try and make a break for freedom and they want to be like a legitimate free man, they will run to House Dead Lazy and throw themselves at their mercy and be like, please, please make me a slave to someone here. Please, I'd like my freedom. And then eventually they get it. Um, it's also a little odd because uh, they're ruled by someone who isn't a drow and isn't a descendant of the original drow houses. Um, they're ruled by someone called uh, the Phoenix Empress. Um, she has an extremely long title which no one can ever remember, so they just call her the Phoenix Empress. Um, and uh, generally speaking, people think that she's actually a pretty nice and fair person. Um, I'm going to assume that Alicia just told us all of that. <laughs> okay. Do I know how powerful is the this Phoenix Empress? She actually freed me. Like, Sorry it, it, for the spoiler. That's no, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I mean, it, it's like godlike level or it's like uh, she is worshipped as a god by some people there but she's not a god that is the mm. this is the question she has um, she has kind of like religious cults dedicated to her and um, she does have some weird things which mean that it's up for debate like no one's going to be oh yes this is obviously a god but like she might be. It's not particularly clear. Are demigods a thing? Yeah, demigods are a thing. Yeah. So could she be a demigod? It's possible. There are lots of theories as to what she is, but the official line is she is a god. Yeah, basically, don't piss her off. Hmm. She has lots of powers. <laughs> I mean, we have some options now. I know that Kayla is, is in the business for the money. And what what about you, Oldie? Sorry, what was the question? It? What about you? What do you want to do? What, what, what brings you to, to this random city in the in House Well, Paris? I thought, well, I wanted to travel and I thought, you know, being a part of that ship would help me do that. But it's all just the same, you know, rob people and drinking, which I don't want to do. and it kind of use my powers for the wrong reasons, and that doesn't sit right with me. Um, so, so you've come to the right place to use your power. It's reasons. a very sticky situation for a druid to be in. No, no. So I came here, and after helping you guys with with Robert Black, I was just. I think I realized I needed to branch out and try and find other people who would. Not maybe. Actually, no. You've got. I don't. Have you guys robbed in the past? No. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, I think Odie mm. believes that. She's like, okay, cool. You guys don't rob people. That's good. That's progress. Um, wait, wait. Does, does does whether they're alive depend on anything? Shut up. Don't make it worse. <laughs> it's just yeah. Like... When she says that, when Vixen says that, like, <coughs> I started coming like really loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just okay. smirking through my meat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to choke on mine. <laughs> yeah, Oni is totally. She's so socially awkward. She doesn't believe. She she believes she believes you. Um, and so I'm very thankful. Uh, Kada, that you got all my stuff from the shit. <laughs> but I'm also aware that <laughs> I should probably get as far away from here as possible. So if you guys are doing that, I'm hella interested. I mean, we're going to be leaving Yokai. I don't know how hella far away from here we'll be getting, but you're mm. welcome to come. Does anybody of us know which could be the safest way to the west? 
Yes. Well, I would kind of like to go to the Asher, but there mm. are some things there that I'd like to see um, that I've heard about that I've never seen before, being a slave. Um, so that's one place I would like to go. And it's closer than what anyone, anything anyone else has mentioned, but that's up to you guys. I mean, that's still quite a gap. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I would like to go there as well, but first I, I would like to see more things and yeah. Yeah. I feel like trying to find a path that like we can jump from city to city and like get up to the Asher or something would be. So yeah, that's the thing. Should we go south or should we go north? To like, I mean, sorry. We know that there's a lot of ships in Emberdon. Uh, do we have Where? anything here? Uh, I can honestly say north is probably a bad idea, being that yeah. our pictures are all around Sakani Sikha- yeah. right now. Okay. Um, so ships passing, so ships are not a problem because I'm a sailor and I have like. I'm interested good... to go to Emberdon, to be honest. It's probably a good starting point because we may be able to get a ship there. Yeah. I would say. If there are building house, things there, house it, uh, probably they will have money there and goodies that we can, you know, buy. Well, I was going to say, like, it says on the thing about all the ships gathering there. So there's going to be a lot of people there. And you know what, like, sailors are like. They're always drinking and gambling and all that sort of shit. So I'm interested to go there and try and take some of their money. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. I reckon Hawk would be up for that too, Nudge's Hawk. Yep. He's literally been asleep and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> sounds good, yes. <laughs> gambling, Hawk. Uh, yeah, gambling? about the gambling yes. thing. Uh, oh, gambling yes. and money, Hawk. Gambling is always a good idea for me. <laughs> where, <laughs> where is this gambling happening? Yes. Emberdon. Does, does Odie know why their pictures are all over? Um... Sakani. Oh god, no, the name no is... she does not. She does not. She can ask whether we tell her one <laughs> might be another reason. <laughs> oh yeah, I was about to, but then I was like, oh, do do I have history knowledge or whatever or whatever? Uh, you wouldn't have history knowledge of it, but you. I guess she them. might have heard something on the grapevine, but it depends. You could have seen our posters, but yeah. you would have known our faces by now. So True. it depends where you came from to get into yokai. Well, she was on a ship, so not really much. Uh, it wasn't no from shit. Sakani. Oh my god, <sighs> Sakani! Thank you. Sorry, it's, no, it, it was you, you. didn't come from Sakani, so probably not then. Yeah. yeah. Um. Sorry, let, let me get this trip. Tra- this trip. Tra- you have. Why do you have pictures of yourself all around Sakani? Because we're pretty. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, Ellen does some gigs up there. Uh, Odie, make an insight check for me, please. <laughs> can I make a deception? Yes, you can. Why did you ask that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Sorry, I tapped it twice. No, no, it's fine. The first one stands. 24. Oh. Bear with, bear with, bear with. Okay, so let's see if Vixen can outline you. Can you, you. beat 24? I do have an inspiration die. What's my deception? Uh... Can I roll a deception check as well? <laughs> One of you can. Vixen's already done it. Um, okay, so inspiration so... die. Inspiration die. Okay, roll a d6 oh, and add it. Hold on, no, don't, 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 like, don't waste your inspiration die on that. Like, ah, just... all right, fine. Like, keep hold of it because you'll need it for something else. All right, leader. <laughs> you, well, you can do it if you want. I just think it'd be a waste. That's no, fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so Odie. Uh, when Vixen just says, because we're pretty, you're immediately looking at just being like, something terrible happened in Sakani, and I just know it. Like, something real bad. They robbed people, didn't they? Ask us! Uh, you robbed people, didn't you? No, no, Technically, no. No, 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 no we, we didn't know. rob anybody. In we fact, didn't rob anybody. Technically, in fact, they robbed us. Yeah, well, in fact, they were rescued. Can I we just rescued. keep next to Odi and just be like, I'm interested about it. Like, I'm not part of them. I'm just looking at you. <laughs> what? You're just sitting in front of Odie staring at her? No, no not next, next to her. To her like, staring at us. Looking at you. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> okay, right. She let's just get, let's, let's get 
right, we, we don't need to know the ins and outs. It's all very complex. Mm -hmm. We rescued people. That's what we did. That made other people very unhappy. Um, that's really all there is. To Do I? I, I want to know if I believe them or not. Should I do a Do it. check on something? You can make another insight check. I mean, can I say something? I, I can I say something to Odi? I look at her and I, I, I said, I found them on the on my way to and for how long I've been with them, it's a pretty um I'm trying to find a word. It's a pretty mm -hmm. um que puede ser así en plan que es bastante que parece, it's likely it's likely to be like that. They have uh thing for helping others. Mm -hmm. um, okay. From your insight check, you get the sense that they're not telling you the whole truth, but they believe what they are saying. Okay. Well, I, I suppose you guys are better than a bunch of rowdy pirates, so I guess I'm with you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hold up my beer and cheers to that. You got a giant badger with you. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought you were a cat. <laughs> I can do more than just a cat. You can be. <laughs> Did you see those owls? I can do more. <laughs> oh, by the way, Ellen and Alicia haven't met Snox. Cool. Yeah, is mm -hmm. he actually summoned now? Yeah, he's summoned. Cool. Go ahead and describe oh. Snox, because the audience haven't met them either. No, Snox is a snake-like yeah. fox. He has, um, he's, he's a tetzel worm. Um, so he's got the body of a snake, but front paws, um, fur down his little scaly back uh, that ends on his tail, and very foxy features on his scaly face. So he's very cute. Mm -hmm. I like that. I can, like him. Can I try to, to like, <laughs> pet it? Yeah, sure, go ahead. So I try. Can, can we roll to see how he reacts? Yeah, <laughs> ma make make an animal handling check. That, that was my thing. My, my... Oh, wait, Ellen, Ellen, make an animal handling check. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty Aww. good. Uh, he likes you, Ellen. Oh, I like that. So I just, like, uh, like pet it, like, up from the nose to the, between the eyes. <laughs> yeah, obviously not back woods on his scales because snaky scales, you know, one mm -hmm. way. It's uncomfortable. Still better than the, you know, the that giant spider horse we created once. Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember. I remember that fondly. Yeah, I've forgotten about that. <laughs> At this point, hawk is like giant spider horse. Oh, Long just story. be grateful you weren't there. Yeah. Actually, no, that's probably a story you'd enjoy. Actually, yeah. <laughs> a story for another time. <laughs> yes, I'm yes, quite okay, scared okay. about this story. I tell you what, Hawk, we will trade you that story for one of yours. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Let's save it for when we're on this ship to wherever we're going, because it's going yes, to be a long-ass uh... time at sea, okay? And my stories are long-ass oh. stories. <laughs> Well, that's a good point. After these drinks, should we uh, get ready to make a move to yeah. Ember Den? Ember... Alyssa, oh. can you go about getting us a ship? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. How? Wait. Sorry, how? Do we uh, have to go to the port? You can sit in my rucksack, it's fine. Thank or disguise you. yourself as another creature. Yeah. Well, I don't think normal OD would be able to fit into a rucksack. So. You might well, yeah, want um... I, I meant as a as a, an animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just, cool, just... I'll be a ginger cat. Mm. Kada? Yo. You, you were there too. You escorted her to this ship, right? Mm-hmm. Because I'm getting the impression that not, not everything went as planned. Um, so Indeed. I'm gonna but, I'm gonna suggest but... that maybe you wear your cloak as well. Oh yeah, of course, that's given. Yes, all right then. I always wear that. Um, okay. Um, at this point, I'm gonna dash. Okay. So I will catch up on the rest of the stream tomorrow. Um, 
Unfortunately, I think the stream may all like jump the the, the overlay when I leave. Uh, we will go to break and I will sort the overlay. Okay. So. <laughs> um... Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome back uh, for us to finish off tonight's episode of Tales of Ascuria. Um So, uh, you guys are going to go and uh, get some passage on a boat. Um, mm -hmm. Is uh, are all of you heading to the docks to sort that out, or? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I guess so. Okay. Um, so when you guys reach the docks, um, the past few times that uh, that some of you have been through the docks um it seemed as though a lot of the ships had been leaving port just to try and get away from all of the chaos that was happening in the town it seemed a bit kind of thin on the ground but now it seems that uh things have been re-established there's a fair amount of um uh shipping coming in and out um a mixture of kind of uh local fishing vessels kind of moving in and out um, and what looked like um, three or four kind of fairly large uh, freight ships. Um, none immediately look like they are designed to be passenger vessels. All of them seem to be working ships. Um, and um, let me see. Uh, Vixen, Ellen, and Alessia, can you all make Hmm. Or make insight checks, please. Yes! <coughs> yes, it's Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so... Yes, sorry! Bless you. Bless it's you. okay. Um, Vixen and Alessia, uh, you both notice um, as... As you're walking past one of the ships in particular, uh, Kader seems to give it a particularly wide berth. Kind of, let's just cross over to the other side of the street for a minute, and then back over to where the ships are. Uh, <laughs> and um, you can see, um, once you get kind of past this, this ship, there appear to be um, two or three... Um, one of which um, seems to just be coming into port, and the other one seems to be loading up as though it is um, leaving port. Um, yeah? So, uh, what would you guys like to do? Uh, um, should we try to talk with the captain of the one that it is about to leave? Okay. Yeah, um... So, um, when you ask to kind of speak to the, the captain, you can see one of the, uh, um, what looks to be a, um, a female half-orc who's in the middle of kind of, like, holding, um, like, she has, like, a barrel under one arm and, like, a crate up on the other. She kind of, like, turns around and she's just like, <sighs> All right. Yeah, I'll go get them. Fine. Um, and kind of, like, uh, heads up onto onto the deck, kind of dumps the stuff, um, and uh, you can see them talking to um, what looks to be a, a fairly uh, slender, pale, um, elvish woman. Um, it seems to be just um, fairly, fairly plainly. Um, the only kind of uh, sign of of, of any kind of rank that they seem to have is they have a couple of um, a couple of stripes sewn onto their jacket, um, and you can see that they seem to have like a um, a, f a fairly nice though slightly um, maybe water damaged cravat that they are wearing, um, and uh, they they kind of like nod for a second and go uh, before. Um, stepping down um off the ship kind of like walking to the edge of the ship and rather than walking down the ramp just kind of like vaulting over down onto the docks to kind of like uh land pretty gracefully um in front of you and just says so i hear you're wanting to get some passage somewhere 
Yes. Uh, we were asking where are you heading and if you would like to have some experienced sailor on board to help. Experienced and kind of like looks you up and down and just goes, Ah. How's Tithos? Uh, no. How's Tithos? Maybe. How's Tithos? Sorry. How's Tithos? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I've traveled all around uh, the plane, not world, right? The underdark. The, I've traveled all around the underdark uh, in ships like this one. So I'm not from half stiffness, but I'm quite experienced. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, how many of you are going to be traveling? Hmm. It, I, I turn around and is, is Hog around here? Yeah. He's busy kind of like scratching yeah. the back of his neck and looking at like a stall of fruit nearby. Just kind of, we'll, we'll, hmm. we'll say five. <laughs> <laughs> Five and some familiars. <laughs> okay. Make a deception check. Now balls! <laughs> Actually, um, we would like to know where are you heading? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> can I inspiration die that one? You can inspiration die it, sure. Roll a d6 aren't and add you, it. Aren't you glad you didn't waste it earlier? Yes. <laughs> okay, so five. <laughs> See? Screw you, roll 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> she just kind of like stares directly at you and just says, I'll make this very clear. If you're going to be dishonest with me, you will not be on my ship. So tell me, how many people? Six. Very well. Six is fine. We were planning to head... Uh, well, ultimately we are, we are going to be making dock down in uh, the Freehold, in the Ascendancy. Got some stuff to shift off. But uh, we're going to be making a few stops on the way. Uh, going to restock at Emberden. Then we're going to move on to Welter Waters. Down to Mortarfell. No, all along the south coast. That sounds great, don't you think, guys? Yeah, Amberdon mm -hmm. could be pro the yeah the yep. Let's go there. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so you'll be joining us for the uh, the leg down to Amberdon. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if you wish to uh, go any further with us, then uh, we can sort that out when we get there as well. If you wish to continue, but uh, I will uh, alert the other crew, and uh, I will let them know. So. Uh, she kind of like looks at the group of you and then says are you capable fighters <laughs> of course I think we are she looks up at you and is just like oh I know you are I'm just checking with everybody <laughs> else and then she looks specifically at Ellen and is just like I'm not so sure about this one we're not sure about that one either, but <laughs> we we hope and pray. Yeah, and he can be helpful if he wants to. Uh, and but why exactly should I be a, a fighter or what? Well, uh, let's put it this way: my ship is already pretty well stocked when it comes to apt sailors, and uh, whilst I'm sure you are a very experienced sailor, as you say, my friend. Uh, it's not necessarily what we really need right now. I'm sure you've heard that there is uh, a bit of tension brewing around here about now. And uh, where uh, where battles come, pirates come soon after. So it's probably going to be in our own best interest to keep someone on board who uh, can handle themselves in a fight. Maybe even uh, they see you coming and might scare them off trying to board us at all. You have my mace and my magic. 
Interesting. I'm really helpful, honestly. And everyone says that in a ship you should have a really nice uh, cook and a really nice musician. And I'm a musician. Ah. Could be helpful. Yeah, he could be quite good for morale. Okay, okay. Tell me, uh, do you know many sea shanties? Uh, of course I do. I'm. This is not my 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 my. You know my usual topic, but uh, I can I can try some. Okay, so all those sea shanties don't play any fucking one of them because I hate them and we've had them on repeat for about five months now. No one knows any songs on this shit. So just play <laughs> anything else and work it. Okay. I I just like like this and throw like this. <laughs> okay, good. So uh, I can see five of you. Where's the sixth? Um, the sixth is currently taking a different form. We can introduce you to them once we are on the ship, because it would be not safe to do so right now. Meow. <laughs> Step on board and we'll talk in my cabin. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Meow. <laughs> can I just um, take um, all that eat and put her on to go on board? Yeah. Sure. I'm down with that. Like I will protect you. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So, so um, when you when you step on board, they um take you I, to. I wanted to, yeah. to do one thing be before leaving. Just one quick thing. Okay. Uh, remember the the paper I stole from the sign, like yeah. the the gig one. Uh, I want to write something on the back. And give it to Koshka and told him like he should like uh, place it on the wall like like somehow convince him to 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 place it on the wall like. Do you mean the... you, you did that at the bar before we left? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. my thing. But yeah, yeah, sure. I thought that I, we were coming back there, but okay. yeah, sure. Uh, make a make a persuasion check with advantage. Okay, easy. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> 27. Like, he hands you the thing, and you're in the middle of saying, maybe you should put it, he's just like, oh, I'm putting this on the wall. <laughs> he just, like, <laughs> immediately puts up, like, behind the bar, and he's just like... Memories. <sighs> I will remember this for many, many days. Many moments. <laughs> <sighs> just let me know if you're ever in the area, and we can uh, get the band back together again, you know? It'll be yeah. good. Oh, really good. well, I have yeah. I have something for you, and um, oh. he runs back behind the bar and he comes back out with one of his like ridiculous Shakespearean costumes and just like <laughs> hands it to you and he's just like yes. I, I I take it and I like look at it and I I start him at the end. It's amazing. <laughs> Best costume I I I ever wore. I I will use it on the on this the most special. Okay. E events. <laughs> yes, yes. Please, uh, if you uh, feel the need to to write of your uh, uh, wonderful escapades, any wonderful uh, performances, please do. Just tell me about them, and I will uh, I will imagine them. Yeah, I'm sure. So we're living now, Koshka. But if somebody asks for this for for this thing, I will I've left here. Uh, just let them read what's behind if you see it's a man alone with a really long moustache. And that's it. And I leave. A man with a long moustache. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will keep an eye out. It's very cryptic, but okay. <laughs> yeah, what? You know, we like artists like this type of things. Huh. Yes, yes. The, the artist's soul is an eternal enigma. <laughs> and then you can see him immediately start writing down and be like, that's good, I can use that as a lyric the <laughs> anyway, farewell my friend and safe journey farewell okay, and I go, go back to the to the ship okay um, so um, once you're inside kind of the, the captain's cabin on the ship um, she says well, uh 
if it's going to meet this sixth person, maybe now would be the time. Um, um hi. Oh, oh, I see. You're a uh, shapeshifter. It's one of my skills. Not it. Good, good. You may want to. Uh, you may may want to speak to Lara. She's uh, one of the uh, one of the people who works below decks. I think you and her would have a very interesting conversation. But I digress. Anyway, uh, welcome aboard uh, uh, my ship. Uh, it is uh, a pleasure to have uh, some some security on board. Um, this is uh, my own vessel, the uh, Moral Kultresen, um, which. Uh, to to those of you who speak the 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 old old drill language, which would probably be Elland and Vixen, uh, this rec um, this translates to the Queen of the Storm. Um, I like it. <laughs> uh, yes, that's so badass. And she says, uh, "I have been uh, captain of this for fifteen years at this uh, this juncture. Uh, previously, I was first mate, and uh, well." This ship is my home, and while you are on board, it is also your home. But uh, you will be expected to to work whilst you're on this ship. Uh, I won't expect you to do the everyday part of the uh, running the ship. We have that covered, but uh, perhaps helping out with uh, moving heavy objects every so often, or keeping an eye, breaking up any fights between the crew, not that we tend to have many anyway. Uh, and it'll be good to uh, to have some some good muscle on board, at least as far as we go to Emberden. Uh, That's fine. We thank you for your kindness. Yeah, we will be glad to help in everything that we. Your ship, as it is our home too. When Excellent. when Alessia says that, uh, they work as hard as we can. Like I, I try to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I just bow. she kind of nods politely and says, please, please, we are not quite so formal on this ship. Uh, I am the captain, it is true, but uh, you, you need not uh, refer to me in such, uh, such grand terms. Uh, uh, you can call me Koram. 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 Pleasure to meet you. Nice it's to meet a pleasure you. to meet all of you. I'm sure we will get well acquainted. Uh, it's going to be a... Uh, well, it would normally be a three or four day journey down to uh, uh, down to Emberdam, but uh, it's probably going to take uh, an extra couple of days. Just uh, seas have been a bit rough, and also we don't want to be uh, going too directly. We might need to go... Uh, around the south of the island instead uh, to avoid any unpleasantness uh, so, uh, so you'll probably be with us for the best part of a week sounds mm. good uh, is she is she telling the truth like all that uh, long way is because of that or is she hiding something uh, make an insight check She seems to be telling the truth. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, it's it's going to be a little while, but uh, gives us plenty of time. Hopefully, we won't need your services as fighters. But uh, you never know. Dangerous seas down here. Uh, anyway, I'll uh, I'll have someone uh, show you to to your rooms. Um, I have just uh, one one request while you're on board my ship. Um, you are free to wander the top decks. You are free to wander through crew quarters. Please do not go down into the hold. Do not go down into the... Into the hold, the bottom level of the oh, ship. Okay. Do, it just... Please don't. We're carrying... No, no, everything. that's it's your ship. It's your rules. I'm happy to okay. apply. Okay, just 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 throwing it out there. It, nothing untoward. We just have lots of uh, cargo that needs to be protected, and uh, people don't tend to be too happy if we let the hired hands wander around next to their valuable stuff. So that's fine. Of course. Okay. 
I think we're going to get along famously. Uh, oh, and of course, uh, since you have been being members of my crew for the period of time, when you uh, arrive at Ember, then you will be paid for your work. Oh, oh well, thank you. Thank you. Mm, of course, it is standard. But for now, uh, I will uh, I will have my first mate uh, show you to to your rooms. Um, hang on, let me get something up a second. Where did I put? Uh, Do we have our, our own rooms? Do we have? Do we sleep in our own rooms? Do we sleep with the rest of the crew in our? I expect we have to share, but I don't know. Uh, the uh, the rooms that you will have will be communal with the rest. Uh, there's a little kind of partition we put up, like a curtain, to give you some privacy, but. Beyond that, it's mostly just uh, hammocks, the standard. You'll be used to it. Great, fantastic. I actually missed that. <laughs> I have never slept in a hammock in my life, so that'll be new for me. You are in for a interesting experience. You'll get used to it after a couple of nights. I'm quite surprised because it's the first time that I'm excited about something. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, I will... Uh, I will fetch my first mate, and she kind of like um, stands up and uh, goes to the the door, kind of opens it out onto the the front deck, and just calls out and says, "Savar, Savar," and then um, eventually uh, you see someone approach who appears to have green scaled skin, covering some patches of their face, but most of their face seems to be just kind of a pale green, um, and. Um, they appear to have an elongated tail instead of legs, um, and they kind of slither up towards the uh, the front. Just like, yes, Captain, and just says, uh, "Could you show these uh, honored guests to the uh, crew quarters, please?" And Sifa so just kind of nods oh. deeply and just kind of like a. Mm. And then kind of gestures with like a a three fingered hand to kind of like follow them, and heads off uh, down into the lower decks. And that is where we are going to end our session for tonight. Um, we've had a uh, a shorter one tonight because a lot of us have to be up quite early in the morning, and we had some trouble with technical difficulties. Blah blah blah. Anyway, um, we'll try and get back to having uh, full length sessions uh, soon once technical difficulties have been um, resolved. Um, so uh, thank you very much everyone for watching and uh, just to say as usual we are associated with and presented by Horsham Gamers. We are a local group who cover the whole range of gaming through from tabletop RPG and board games and stuff like this through to esports, competitive gaming, online gaming, anything you can think of if it's related to gaming or nerd culture we're interested in it too and we would love to meet some of you at some of our future events. Uh, if you just look for us uh, at any of the links below at Horsham Gamers on any of the social medias below, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, you'll be able to find us and uh, we'd love to meet some of you. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys, and uh, have a good night. Bye! Bye.